Hey, Composer Gloves here, and this is the last video in the Harmless from the Ground Up tutorial series. And today, we're not even going to cover anything new. We're just going to make a song using a bunch of Harmlesses. I have no idea what kind of song we're going to make, but whatever it is, it's going to be great. Just to head off questions in case they happen, I have a video tutorial series about how to make your first song in FL Studios. So I'm going to be doing stuff. And if you want to know how to do that stuff, a good chunk of it, I'll probably point it out if it's not in there, is already covered. So let's just make a song, right? And so let's go to 128 beats per minute because that's my jam right there. And I'm probably going to use drum loops. I'm not going to focus too much on the drums, mostly on the harmless because that's what we have been making. I'm thinking about maybe, I mean, I've got to make some pluck sounds because that's like Harmer's, Harmless's jam, you know? That's like what Harmless does. And we'll use this because we like using additive process things. It's just really, this is going to be really cool, right? So... You should know ideally everything that I'm touching now. So let's go to the safest port chord progression ever. Chord, board. Let's just go to that. That would be A minor. We can make a bass, some sort of a bass pluck. And we'll make it, we'll make it the sub bass pluck. Some people, you know, some people start with the drop. Um, I did that on my tracks glitch. Um, and there's another one, reggae dub. But on this one, I'm going to start with the uh, beginning because I don't know. Why not? You know, we'll have some sort of a. We go dun, 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 dun. Done. And then, let's see here. Go to F. Yes, sir. And then E. <coughs> oh, bless me. Oh, man. And we'll come up here and we'll go. Ooh, we'll do something like that. Very good. That sounds, that sounds nice, right? And we talked about doing stuff like this before. Let's get some automation clips rolling. And we'll automate that and this and that, and we'll call that good. This is going to be our beginning, right? Right about here, we should have some sort of a percussion thing come in. That is the inspiration I am receiving right now. So let's go to our drum loops. All right, you, I can, I sense it. I can sense it from you. You don't want to use a drum loop. You said drum loops are for wussies. We want to use samples. Oh, okay. I hear you. Let's use some samples. I have some of these samples. We're gonna use these, and it, I think it's something soft, you know. And we're gonna have to fade it in and 
do all sorts of things. I'm not thinking of something that just poof, is in your face quite yet. But I'm thinking of some sort of simple on time beat thing. Uh, yes. And we'll go ahead and add a delay to that. First we cue it. That's all we need for that. And, uh, where's the delay? You know, when you open up your menu and you're like, where the crap is the thing that I want? And then it ends up being like right there. Cool. And now let's add a... Uh, I had an idea. Oh, a fill. Pff, I was on it already. And we'll high pass it in. It'd be strange to automate it from a band pass to a high pass. That would be weird. That also sounds like, I don't know. It'd just be weird. I'm not going to do it, but it'd be weird. And we're going to fade it in real quick here. this one unique and we're gonna go we're gonna put one right there right there people are gonna be like what 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 they just do and then we're gonna take pattern one we're gonna clone pattern one and we're gonna add another harmless and this one we're gonna make a base but it's not gonna be the same type of pluck because that pluck does a specific thing and I want it to be uh, sort of a, a bassy like an 80s bass and I'm still using my keyboard controller to change the range of your keyboard controller at least is how I do it you just click right click up here yeah right yeah it's a right click uh, C7 or something and you'll suddenly get a much lower tone and this is not exactly the bass sound I want. This is interesting. All right, um, let's add some unison to it and trick the pitch variation out. Phase it a bit with the deep. I'm just gonna copy this guy, and we're gonna link the LFO to the width. And we're gonna change uh, LFO to voice random, and that should just about do it. Wow, it sounds like we have a frog singing in our song. That does not fit. You know what? I completely agree. We may not use this. <laughs> there you go. That's a lot. That's a hundred billion times better. And then we'll fade it in, right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to fake people out and fade it in. We, we should get, I'm thinking some sort of like a flute type lead. You know what I'm saying? One of those. I, I just want one. And a flute type lead to me has some noise in it. And unfortunately, we don't have a way really to make noise with harmless. I mean, I'm sure we could get creative and find one. but So it's going to be a really fake sounding flute. But what I'm thinking is we need a sine wave. So let's do this. And we need some reverb. So, I mean, it, it's not a flute per se. Let's turn the harmonic mix mask on. Let's turn it on masked. You 
know what? I like that. You know, it's simple, pure. We just need a good melody to sort of to sort of jam for a little bit before we like start throwing in the kick. Maybe it'll be a chill dance song or something. Let's add, this is where it gets interesting, where you're like, what are you going to do next? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do next. You know what? Let's go back to those patterns with the chords. And I don't have my MIDI controller hooked up, so I'm not going to like play anything on it. I'm going to have to think me up a melody. And we're going to we're gonna raise it an octave. I just like writing down what the ghost notes are so I know what my chords are. And it'd be wise. Oh, you know what? We're going to use slide notes as opposed to turning on legato so that we could do harmonies. Because it'd be cool to have some harmonies. And. Oops, don't want that. Ah, D minor. It's sort of a mix between this A minor. sound quite as I don't know it's like I think the melody is pretty strong I don't even care that it's like <clears throat> a minor second I think the melody is fine just because that half step down there is just so pretty convincing and when we voice it up it'll be even less noticeable pretty cool <clears throat> all right so let's clone a pattern not clone it i don't know why i just cloned it paste cut this way we have our melody all by itself and so we've got our intro we've got this sort of thing going on This isn't something, though, that we've written that can really repeat, so may not be wise. It would not be wise to um, clone this. But at the second melody thing, I think we could get away with introducing some more percussion. And on this one, I'm going to use a loop, and I'm just going to take a chunk of a loop, something that's really short and fast already. Uh, drums... 28. We're going to use this. And then we're going to use this part of it. We're going to use 
this part right there. It's like the art of loop using. I do not know, just getting creative. And then right here, this one needs to be different. What the heck? We really just need something that's just plain different right here. And what we're going to do is, oh, my little dog wants inside my room. Uh, what we're going to do is we are going to, just a sec. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to do some of this magic. Hey, why is the magic not working? This is all one. This is going out five. This one's not. Send it to five. We're going to rename this one uh, Top Loops and color it green because green's great color. And this is another spot where having a filter on uh, would, could be wise. We can make this one. We can make this one a low pass. You say, why do you want a filter on? Well, if we give away all our spectral content right at the beginning of the song, man, that's not that exciting. At least for this particular song. Like, it's whatever. All right. I don't even know what we're going to call it yet. Okay, so we have this melody. I feel like it should bleed over. No, no. This is where I want to do some sort of a riff, but I know that I have this long thing going on, so it wouldn't be that wise. I'm a piano player, so when I sit down at the piano, I could just do it, but it's weird. When you sit down to write a melody, all of a sudden it becomes like some impossible task. That's nice, simple, nice, not like crazy. And then you know what? We should get real creative right here and do something against standard models. We could just do that. And we could start, we could do like a pad thing and build that up and go some other completely different direction people do not see coming. Maybe, maybe it'll be really dumb. some percussive wind we need some sort of ambient background you know what i'm saying that's what we need 
Let's add another harmless. You can tell that I'm really good about naming my harmlesses because they're all they're also organized harmless. One, two, three, four. I'm never gonna get confused now. Uh, find next empty. Oh, it wants me to name it. We'll name this one the pads. We're gonna make some pads now. Pads have long attacks. And we're gonna take the EQ. We don't want a basey pad. We want a relatively mid-ranged pad. And let's use the custom waveform feature. Uh, let's open up an Edison so we can get a little more precise with our decisions. Edison, 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 Edison. I love Edison down here. It's under miscellaneous. And let's go to short. Yeah, that sounds like a good sound to use. Let's use that one. Zoom in. Let's use this part. Got some good amplitude right there. And drop it on there. Oh, it sounds sort of like a violin. We'll probably get a pretty stringy texture out of this. Um, okay. First rule when making pads. At least for me. I want it to already sound like something that I'm going to go towards and then tweak it from there. So I'm going to turn on my reverb. Pretty bright. This is something that I'm going to also... Oh, well, I'll try EQing it in here, I guess. Yeah, it's just really, it's just really, whoops. Heck no, control L. Let's go to this EQ. It's just easier to EQ in this. blows my mind that really does sound like a string okay let's let's do a uh, unison would sound nice on this Flanger classic. There you go. That's a pretty good string. I'm going to switch to high quality. That is really cool. And we sort of do get some phasery stuff. In the high end. I feel like that just always seems to happen. So we're going to go to one. We're going to lay down our chords here. And now this is something that's going to be in the background. Dude, I dig that. I dig it. Okay. You might not dig it. That's okay. You know, everyone's got their different digs, but I, I dig it. Let's um let's toss it in here. We're just gonna have it repeat our big beefy bass line. And then we're gonna filter it. I wonder I don't wanna take away from the original impact though. second time to create variation. Castle Crashers, but I got really into Castle Crashers for a while. 
granted, it was several years ago, but this sounds just like the melody lead in the forest level. And back then, I didn't know all this stuff about sound, so now I'm like, it was just a sine wave with reverb on it. Are you kidding me? I loved that melody so much. Um, this is right here is kind of interesting, but let's just take it up an octave. But we're going to leave these two on the thirds and stuff because I kind of like that one. And now our melody, okay, now we're fighting for spectral content space and our melody is like, I need room to breathe. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, why is this? I just assigned this. Which one am I using? Track six. Am I not on track six? Track six. I don't know what I just put in this one. Harmless three. So I know my melody is pretty high. So I'm just going to do some of this jazz. cool and atmospheric um let's uh let's uh keep this going i like that we could keep it going for another section here and then we'll go to our a random drop that no one will see coming but we definitely need to continue our jam session so let's uh clone this this is a harmless to filter for you see oh for the base all right we'll make that happen separately because if we just have four bars of this and then all of a sudden it ends, it's going to be kind of unusual. I used to do that and then I realized it's just it's just unusual. People don't like being that weird. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go down a little bit. That way our drop will have some real meat when the kit comes in or whatever. This is probably not, this is going to be a drop that like we've arrived kind of drop. Not one that's like in your face eat my fist kind of drop. Oh, you know what? This could be our riser. We're going to make this the riser. So we're going to make it eight bars. And we could have our kick come in. I've man, this is the vision right here, man. Just, I just got it. And because what the lead will do will kind of, it'll lead us where we want to go. Dude, I dig that. That is like my friend right now. Wait, am I like a maniac? We're going to go up now. And then we're going to repeat it again. You're like, all oh, this repeating. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry. Don't worry. If we find it boring, we'll go back and make it more interesting. Because I'm against boring. Don't I don't like that type of thing. I left it empty right here. Why did I do that? Because if I don't notice it later, except visually, then that means... It doesn't matter. And we're not going to stop there, of course. Now this would be up an octave and we'll even add in a third and this will be up an octave and this will be up an octave. Oh, we'll go to E. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just add a more chord stuff. And this will be our 
riser, or this would be like the moment. I mean, we don't have all our drums in here yet, but this would be the moment. this more epic we will clone it or copy it paste it i'm going to rename things because they're starting to get a little confusing rename because i know my number system is flawless but we're going to do saw pad this guy is going to have no reins on his spectrum appetite he's just going to take it all up because at the very end i just want this to be the thing that arises out of the mist so we're gonna turn our unison up though at least eight bars before the drop for this particular type of thing because that way people sort of see it coming but you don't want it too much you see it only reaches like right here but over here it starts to really uh, take up space right there but i think we got a pretty nice intro um this will probably be as far as we go right up to there i might do a second video because it's turning out pretty okay pretty cool um what should we name it that's the question we'll name it i already used girl in a garden on one so we'll name it the look maybe someone standing in a forest I don't know what it is with me and Forrest recently, but I just picture people standing in them looking at you. Right here, we should have some sort of, a, you know what I'm saying? Like atmospheric hit to be atmospheric. You say, this is great, but we're going to make this one sort of have some interesting... We're going to make it like a band pass type deal. Alright, well, never mind then. That turned out pretty alright, pretty fast. This is for free download on my website, by the way, if you're looking at getting some of those sounds composing gloves folder my website stuff right here we could have some more interesting drum lines kind of emerge using a filter through the midst of our stuff so oh man you know what would be cool is if we got some full drum loops because I'm not going to go and make my own right now. That will just take way too long. And we uh, we automate them coming up and down through the midst. So we'll get like four. Nah, we'll get three. And we'll send them each to their own track. So that one goes to that one. This one goes to that one. And this one goes to that one. We'll add... A high pass we'll add a reverb and a high pass to each of them and we'll make them really wet and a high pass 
Rudy Free Filter, High Pass, Create Automation Clip, or you know what? Make it a low pass. And then there's a way to save channel state and drag it over, but I don't remember. No, wait, I think I do. Parameters, station, channel routing, separator. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Never mind. I don't remember. Nope, I don't. All right, whatever. We'll do it individually. I know there's a way to do it, though. Uh, we want the reverb, which escapes me right now. And we want the fruity free filter. And make an automation clip. And we want the reverb on the last one. So let's see here. Reverb. <coughs> Bless me. And then free filter. Create automation clip. Okay. So right now it's sort of a mess. So I'm going to make it less messy. Our first one is our first guy. This one's our last guy, and this middle one is our middle guy. Where did his automation clip go, though? It's right there. Oh, man, that was a little sneaky. Okay, so these guys are going to come up at different moments. We'll have maybe one come up right here, and then again over here. And what's cool is since they're all in time, it shouldn't matter when they pop up. So I have him come up right there, and we'll have come down here. And we'll, we'll let him rise up and then just dis disappear. We'll have this guy come in like so. And then we'll have him come up somewhere in the middle. And then over here, fade out. And we'll let him come up with the other guy. All right. Let's make this a high pass. That is way too boomy, but we're going to have to invert everything. Let's get rid of the reverb too. Reverb was a bad idea. That's half the fun though. You just experiment. You see if it'll sound cool. Go like this now. And now if they come down, it's like, oh man, they're coming, they're coming out. getting through here oh the other ones are still on low pass this explains a billion okay high pass high pass low pass high pass there we go Let's see how. I feel like it should keep going. I like it. Let's uh, let's bust them though, and right to this track only. Rename. 
drum loop bus drum loop madness so we're gonna name it and we'll we're gonna color it too we'll make that one green right to this track only and right to this track only and we definitely need to eq it some be bad now that would be okay but we'll add it to the whole of it i guess reverb do right there um which i guess i should make with harmless because but i want it to be a noise sound you know a noise sound would sound so clean and pure let's go sorted let's see what we can do with harmer though harmless all right there's no way to really unless we did a lot of pitch variation <laughs> Alright, I'm picturing just a real simple thing. Mm -hmm. Start out, make it eight bars long. Need a little more. Drag this over. And slide notes going up to it. Why, why does that sound right? I don't know. It's not right, though. We're going to go up to E. Because by the end, it, it should be at an E. And we're going to, of course, add a bunch of reverb. And create an automation clip. Take the filter off as we go. Why is the filter not moving? Oh, it's the amount. That's why I'm automating the amount. I do not want that. Well, I'm going to leave it there now because I kind of like what it did. But I want the filter to come up. everything's jamming and you've reached it and everyone's partying so that's where i'm going to stop for today it's been kind of a long video but it's important to just take your time when you're doing stuff like this and just be creative like you should know how harmless works now i mean we've used only harmlesses and you can see you could get pretty much whatever you want as long as you know what to touch it may not be the easiest for some tasks but um it's it's a really resourceful synthesizer if you have any questions, drop them down below, and let's just really quick listen to what we've got, and we'll do that.
pretty cool. Now, there are still definitely transitional things in, um, that need to be fixed, and there's definitely room for a, a lot more. Um, for example, the intro to this could be nicer. The uh, There could be some sort of small build to this release, and this right here needs reverb trailing out, and it needs something to introduce it. But the idea itself is a good idea. Um, I actually really like the riser. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, and the song, I mean, it's got a general flow. So, I mean, we're on our way to making a pretty good song. I'll probably finish it. Probably make a second video where we just try and smooth things out. But I'll probably focus on the drop more. Or I may not make one at all. Who knows? If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. Subscribe if you enjoy these videos. And have a blessed day. I'm <laughs> sorry.